this can't be true. Uh, wait a minute. Depends. The Depends are, are making face masks. Is this for people who are at? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Is this right? Oh, I think everybody's got to turn their uh, their attention to uh, to wearing something that's going to cure wetness. <laughs> I'm going to wear a depends on my mouth, right? Is that it? <laughs> There's so many jokes here. <laughs> you know, too, too many. But they're not jokes. You know, I mean, we're not in a time of humor. We're in a time of, of seriousness and, and relevance and determination and selfish pricks. <laughs> oh, man. I love the, the little cartoon where you got Trump and it says, is he gone yet? <laughs> You know, I'm a humorist. I mean, you know, and I see this guy that's uh, this Trevor guy that they're promoting on CBS owns Viacom and Viacom is owned CBS and they own the comedy channel and the comedy channel was John Stewart, which owns the guy Colbert, who now is on the CBS late night. So this is all nepotism. See, they all they all sleep with each other. You know, then Gail King has to get on in the morning and promote the uh, Trevor's jokes and the guy who follows them on the Late Late Show and follows, uh, who, who, what's his name from from uh, England? You know, I mean, they're all, see, these these guys are all in bed together. They could all, this is like the seven dwarfs with the, <laughs> and that's, that's just the way the game is played. You know, nobody nobody can get in. You can't get in. That's the problem with, top, with politics too. See, here's what's wrong. Let me, you want to know what's wrong? Do you really want to know? Do you really want to hear this? Or do you want to just go ahead and, and stick your head in the sand like, uh, like we've been doing as a society for so long? Here, here's what it is. There's, so, there's a few things that are principles. One of them is that you are not supposed to have everything for yourself. <laughs> uh, if you had everything, you're still going to die. And you can't take it with you. Everybody knows that. All right. Now, here's, here's, here's what's going on. The FCC... Federal Communications Commission determines broadcasting, radio and television, and what goes on the air. They are the they are the watchdog. They're not supposed to give stations to people just because they like them. They have to file for a license to get a radio and a television station. You've got to be a citizen of the United States, like Murdoch wasn't, because he was Australian, frankly. And you have to also know that the congressmen and the senators, they spend all of their time running for office and keeping the gig. That's what they do. It's not a volunteer army anymore, not by a long shot. So what they want to do is keep their gigs and they have discredited equal time, which means it used to be by law that if you were running for office, no matter who you were, if you were Joe Schnook and you decided you're going to run for office, you would have to be given the same equal time as the people who are spending a lot of money in the big shots. But not anymore. They got rid of that because the senators and congressmen traded it out. So now you can do anything you want to do. The radio stations supposed to be, and television stations, AM, FM, PM, TV, they're all supposed to be under the guise of the FCC guidelines, which means that if you are not financially stable and you are not serving the community at the end of your period, because it's only a loan, the license is a loan. No, no radio and television station is owned by a company. It's only... It's only a loan from the government. The part that you might own is the building you're in, the towers that you have. And so the public never knows this. And there's a public file that if they don't live up to their ascertainment of the community and what they promise to do for the community, if they don't live up to it, you can go at any time to any radio or television station during business hours and look at the public file. And if they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing by law, you tell them and they can take the license away and find them. Now, they've never done that with iHeart, which is a bankrupt company. Bankrupt! And they're still getting money from people to, to operate. The other one, uh, Clear Channel, with all those, they own 1,600 stations that they can't manage. They don't, they're not financially uh, able to do it. So the FCC turns their head like that because they say, well, you know, what are we going to do? We keep them in business. It's a bailout. Let's help them because it's stock involved in stock. It's all about the stock market. When I was a kid, I'm telling you, I was 12, 13 years old on the on North Division Street, which is the last white family in a in a poor neighborhood. I'm going to tell you, the last Italian standing. And they looked at us. Do you think I had a sexy portfolio, or I was looking for a uh, a 405 or a bailout? 
<laughs> you kidding? Go get a job. <laughs> I shine shoes. I, I, I sold newspapers. Get a job. Go to school. Learn, learn a profession and then get in line for the, for the uh, promotions. That's what you do. That's, that's the way the game was played. Now it's just anything goes, you know. Uh, all these boy geniuses that have a billion dollars and then you think you're going to be one of them. I mean, that, that's like a fantasy to think. It's, it's a fantasy game to think that you're going to uh, uh, be like Bill Gates or any one of these guys that had one great idea that they drove home and, and got support for. You know, and, and, and believe me, you're not going to make anything on the Shark Tank is all about it's entertainment. Shark Tank is guys who are already very successful, and that's their game is to live off of the newcomers so that they can stay more successful. The Apprentice was about firing people and uh, and organizing teams and and it's a fake business. <laughs> Come on, that's not a real business. <laughs> anyway, this is the this is a game. You got to know that this is Fantasy Island <laughs> without the little dwarf. What's his name? Uh, oh, I forgot his name. What was it? Cordova. I like the Cordova. <laughs> I man, this is so it's so screwed up. You know because we started to to buy in to all this crap. We drank the Kool-Aid. You got to just get rid of that. No Gatorade, no Kool-Aid, no aid. You know? No first aid. The only aid you're going to get is is you're going to get a good mask from who? Depends. That's right. <laughs> it's a Reynolds wrap. 